How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV and this is episode 8 of Made in Abyss. Um, quick little disclaimer, I haven't done anything for like a week. Uh, luckily everything I posted last week was all something I recorded in one day, but I got really sick and uh, yeah, just haven't been able to do anything. So I'm going to kind of take it slow coming back because I still don't really feel completely okay if you kind of hear it. Maybe not. Um, but we're going to start out with Made in Abyss and then throughout the week rather than all at once posting it on Sunday normally, um, Demon Slayer will come out and then I don't really have anything else lined up now that Box Market is also done. Uh, obviously I'm going to keep it with Made in Abyss, but uh, if anybody has other recommendations to hop into, I'll probably try and do that at the middle of the week and also probably Wednesday I'm going to be doing a stream for everybody that watched Vox Machina, um, kind of doing like a tabletop to screen comparison. I think it's going to be Wednesday, but don't quote me on that. I'm probably going to post, uh, make a post about it or something. So, the last we left off, Rico and Reg, um, and Ozen, I guess. Ozen dropped them off to basically train. They have, I think, a week to ensure their survival, maybe it's two weeks, um, and try and basically live this whole time. And if they can live here and survive, they can keep going. And she'll be comfortable letting them keep going. But it's just going to help them train and be better and be better prepared for what's coming. Um, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Um, it is it is tough that, like, obviously no one can really help her because of the specifics of what she's trying to do. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see if they survive. <laughs> Ten days. Okay, so I was in between a week and two weeks. Okay. Training. Cool life. But yeah, they don't really have as much stuff now. But yeah, that doesn't mean it's good. Oh my god, she's got chill. She puts me in so much fucking nerves. They're all just gonna turn a different color. Yo. What in the f what is that? That thing looks like a Pokemon. What is she? Oh, they're gonna probably start cooking again. She needs to get like a, she needs to get like a stick to defend herself or something, like a good hard like pokey stick. Huh. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe they get attracted to the light. <laughs> yeah, it might be the other way around. My sweet pink. Sweet bean. What the fuck is that? Oh, is somebody just watching him? Yo, Ozen's fit looks so cool. It's so dope. Yo, he just got thrown. Holy shit. He's gotta learn how to fight back a little bit. See, she's not wrong. She's taking a weird way doing it, but she's not wrong. Oh, so his body's light even though he's tough as shit. That's dope. See, she, that's the thing. She's like the brains of the operation, kind of, because, I mean, she's had time to learn about the Abyss through the schools and stuff. And he's just like, strong boy. Boy, arm go foo. Like... <laughs> Oh, who's just in there? Come on, boy. Come on, my boy. Oh, that's ass. What the fuck was that? Yeah, that they, they can't do that. I think that's the thing she doesn't want. Because if they depend on each other, then, you know, bad things are going to happen. Oh, man. I'm, I'm loving these. These back flashbacks are exactly what I need. 
Anything more I can get of Liza, I'm excited about. Oh! What? That's how they showed the... <laughs> the... What? That's how they showed the kid? Or the, the, the son? The, the husband? Her, her dad? Her dad? That's how they do it? They're just like, this is the dad. What? Wow. Oh, so he's dead. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like, what have I done to myself? Oh, isn't so cool. She doesn't have to do half the shit she does, I think, but she clearly does it just because she believes in it. Also, let's go. They got real food. They got real shmeat. They got bones now. Maybe she can make a bone weapon or something. A little bone staff. Or just casually walking back. At least I hope. Yeah. Maybe not casually. Yeah. Let's go. She is gonna. I wonder if she's gonna just like pass out on the way up. Probably. She's gonna come. Yep. In fact, it's only been 10 days is crazy. But they did survive pretty good. The pain I feel from Ozen's thrashing is gone. Yeah, why is it? Why does it do that? Why does it keep doing that? All right, I'm glad he's like paying attention. It just looks like an eyeball, dude. A fancy eye. Oh, she woke up for the food. Why is it sometimes she looks like thin and like huge and then she gets that huge back for no reason? She goes from like a normal back to like my back. Just like big and rounded. So they got some uh, time warping going on. Don't tell me she ate that shit straight up. Like whole. Interesting. So, yeah, there, there is the idea of potentially having people live there. It's not like... It's not like something random. It's not like someone who's never thought about it before or said it. Body. Ultimate flick. Oh, there we go. That just explained that whole thing. She just slumps when she sits down. Ooh. Oh my god, these people are dope. I'm curious though, like, how many people are going to stand, stand in their way? So, it really isn't her writing. Maybe it's her dad in just a different form. Robo dad. I'm very curious to see how this works. Oh my god, is he gonna... Is she gonna get a... Oh, she's just... No way. No way they get she's giving her that. Liza the Annihilator spelled so much blood. She's a murderer. A murderer in the death. That's dope though. She's gonna she, yeah, let's go teach her how to use that shit. Yeah, because the incinerator is not useful in a sense. Ooh, are we going to get it? Or are they going to cut? No way. Oh. Oh, does, huh? Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. 
She told us everything. Oh, dude, I'm so happy she told us everything. We need to know everything. That's the point, dude. How are we gonna survive? We don't know what the fuck's going on. She just sat and talked to us for like an hour and a half. That's fine. The little bag, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> oh man, it's like headphone, headphone bags. See you soon. See you soon, homie. I hope. He's like, I just wanted to hang out with you. Oh. That sucks. Oh, he's trying to get her, get him to remember. Ooh. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I didn't know that was his name. Okay, cool. Leader is her, uh, her apprentice. That's right. They showed that earlier. I know that. What am I saying? Yeah, he is. We're getting eyes. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> 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 so she's uh she's trying to separate them. But she needs to know what's at the bottom first, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. She's like remind her that she's a living corpse. Let her know that she's lucky as shit. That's crazy, let's go. Man, bro, they keep showing her now, and I'm like, okay, you guys are making it very apparent that she's a thing. You know, she's not just this mysterious thing anymore. She's, you have a face now. Bye, buddy. Don't pass away. <laughs> Now what what fresh hell awaits us? Damn, that's dope. That little bare hand. Oh, what the fuck? How does this work now? E the great fault. How do you go down there? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so obviously the big thing about this episode, apart from them, like they they survived the training, they were fine. I mean they are learning to be better with themselves, however, at the same time, I think the big thing Ozen's trying to do with each of them somewhat is to get it more independent, because with the incinerator, obviously, you, every single time we've seen him use it, he's knocked out. It's definitely a last-ditch effort, we need this or else we're all dead. There's no other options. The issue with it, obviously, is the fact that he gets incapacitated, so she has to figure it all out by herself. It's not a coincidence, I don't think, that she, or Ozen, is trying to get them to be more not reliable on that, or not yet yeah, relying on that, because of the fact, because of that. I mean, it's, it's going to be one of those things where, for sure, that's going to come into play later. Whether it be this season or the next, you're going to probably have an episode where he's going to have to use it for some reason. Some giant monster that they can't fight. They're going to like blow it in half. And then it's going to be a bigger fish or something. And she's going to have to deal with it by herself. Um, hopefully it's not the case. But when you introduce something like that, it's bound to happen. You know, it's not going to not happen. <laughs> um... But very good episode. I mean, if, like I said, the other thing too, it makes it feel more real that she's around. Having, like, when you don't show a face, you, there's a lot of mystery to whether or not that person's there, I guess, or like real. Um, when you start, I mean, obviously we start getting, getting more and more uh, flashbacks with Ozen ever since we met Ozen of Liza. Um, and these flashbacks of Liza are nice but we never got to see her face we never got to see like we were just casually interacting and, and this is this that was this i mean we got her to see we got to see her casually interact with Ozen and, and realize that they have this like little cool friendship because um 
it doesn't seem like the other white whistles are, are tight like they are. Um, they might be with each other, but not, not with them. It's very dope to see that, you know, Ozen's also being just like real, you know? And with Liza, Liza's kind of telling her just to do that. If forever, for some reason, some way this thing happens, which it is, be real with her, you know? Tell her she, what she is, tell her what's going on. Um, and if she wants to explore it, okay, help her. <laughs> but again, she needs to know the truth. And that's what that's what Ozen did. Ozen gave them the truth. They were like, you know what? You're gonna try and do this. I'm gonna tell you everything. Because you're gonna need to know everything. And I'm glad because again, it's it's either one or the other. You gotta try and stop them, or you gotta give them every resource they possibly would need to survive. Um And Ozen was like both. <laughs> he was like trying to stop them and be like, you guys are idiots. If you can't survive this, you're not gonna make it. And then she's like, here's every secret you possibly need and here's the boom pickaxe. Um, which I don't know how the boom pickaxe works. I can't wait to see it though. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the next time I post the main to this episode. And then for all the other stuff I'm gonna be posting this week, hopefully. Um, I'll see you guys next time.